Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll work with pivot tables using the orders summary example. As you'll notice, I have a data range here, or a table, which I'm going to summarize with a pivot table after, of course, making sure that we have a thousand separators on, on these numbers here. There we go. And then we're going to make a pivot table. And I do that by going into the table tools and summarizing it with a pivot table. And then we're going to use the orders as values. And we're going to look at different rows uh, for the month. And then we're going to put the customers on a fil the filter there. And again, I need to put the thousand separators on there. And no decimals. So let's go through order numbers trend over time. To do that, we actually need to sort these in the correct order. So I'm just going to make sure that I take the uh, edge of the each and every one. It's a little bit tricky with, with the mouse here to do this, but luckily there are only 12 months in a year. All right. Almost done, just October 2. There we go. Now we want to make a pivot graph, and of course we do that under the pivot table tools, the pivot chart there, and we just want to have a trend, and a trend is commonly described as a line graph there. And there we have the, the order numbers trend over time, the percentage of orders per customer. We could do that in many ways. We could remove the months there, and then we can put the customers like that, and then we could view these as a percentage. Do that by going into the sum of orders there and looking at the way it's going to be display, uh, displayed. And we do that in the value field settings there. And I show value as percent of grand total. of. So there we have the percentage. So that's that um, percentage of order per customer. And to answer these questions, we can actually do that right here in the table. Which customer ordered the most in January? So let's sort these by um, largest to smallest, of course, and then filter out the January data. So the top customer there is the Northwind Traders. When I clear the filter, find that data. What is the total number of orders for December? And we simply filter out December to only show that. And then we can just select these three, or we can go into the table tools and actually add a totals row there. And there we have the information. We can make this bigger and we'll see that. What is the total number of orders for December? It's 733,596. Okay. Thank you for watching this demonstration.